from the Art and Villa Mine Messina, South Africa. Now, shall I call this a quartz crystal or shall I call it a wand? The healthy length must be about four inches plus edge to edge. Crystalline right around so flat it would have formed as is in nature, didn't sit on any matrix. Inclusions, minor inclusions, those grey flecks you see would be tiny blades of specular hematite trapped inside the quartz. Now, when we have a close look here, these are always very difficult to photograph. Current environment, it's actually the, the, you're getting a pretty accurate indication of the actual quartz crystal. Lovely environment for the quartz crystal. There you can see some phantom, almost ghosting, most likely of some kale and clay happening through here. So let's go across the edges now. There you have crystallization going across there. Go across that way. Let's have a look at the crystallization going across here. And of course, there's always a slight pinkishness to reddishness to these crystals, and that would be minor inclusions of hematite uh, uh, oxidizing, turning into gerthite, causing the reddishness. Uh, uh, color of ochre. All the way from the Arten Villa Mine, Messina, South Africa. As I said earlier, uh, maybe more of a one than a crystal on an esoteric plane. Look at that. There's some yellowishness there as well. Could be some tangiite, um, but uh, 